Now let's take a look at the next section within our control bar here and this is the arrangement position fields. We have two numeric fields here plus some buttons. Now these two numeric fields either control loop or punch in and out points. So let's talk about them first in relationship to the loop and again this button here in the center is the loop on off button. So currently we're saying the loop should begin at measure 11 and could last for four bars long. So we can see here it starts at bar 11 and lasts for four bars. One, two, three, four. Let's watch playback. And when we get to the end of this, it'll jump right back. And it'll keep looping until we turn the loop off or jump to a position afterwards. So again, this is where it starts. I could say start at bar 12 and last for two bars. Now let's play back. Now just as with our arrangement position, we can click and hold and drag up and down to move things around, both with the position and the length, but also we can use the loop brace itself. So if you click on the left end, you can begin or change its beginning earlier or later in time. And the same thing with its ending. You can change it in time. Or if you like its position, you can grab the whole bar and move it. And that keeps the length at four bars or whatever it may be. Let's listen now. Beginning playback. Okay, now let's move on now and see what happens when we use it for punching in and punching out. Let's set this to be very short, just two bars. Get ready for playback. And record is enabled here, so let's start recording. And let's see what happens. Da -da -dee. Now notice that even I sang a little bit before, and certainly a good bit afterwards, the only section that got recorded was when it got to measure 9, and it punched in automatically and began recording, and then it stopped after two bars exactly. So that allows us to create a certain safe zone for recording so that we don't destroy anything important. Okay, so again, punch in and punch out enabled. You don't have to do both. You can say just punch in and also your loop. So these numbers control either looping or punching in and punching out. So this is a great tool for getting exactly what you want as you move around within the arrange view and safely recording or engaging your loop. Next we'll move on to this final section about MIDI and keyboard control of Ableton Live's devices.